Hey plumbers, welcome back. Today we are talking about black hat marketing tactics and the volatility in SEO, especially as we're looking at like AI and chat GPT stuff. So hang on, let's chit chat. See you in a second. Okay, so the first thing on my list today to talk about is black hat tactics when it comes to your SEO. I am part of a coaching group and I just got asked a question about, hey, can I use virtual offices inside of my Google business listing? Now, this particular person did not know the rules of Google, but I also got another inquiry from a customer asking something similar. So something's in the air and I can't help but think it's because demand is low. So people are looking for ways to rank better, right? Now, here is the risk. Google doesn't want you to use your home address. They don't want you to use virtual offices, PO boxes. They don't want you to fake something. They want you to have a physical location in the space. Now, you may be in a market where somebody else is ranking better than you because they are doing black hat tactics, but keep in mind the risks that they are taking on and make a very measured approach on whether or not you want those same risks. I don't like being responsible for risks that could really hurt your business. And the risk is that Google catches wind of how you are circumventing their terms and conditions and they wipe you off the face of Google. What does that do to your company? It makes you very hard to find. And Google, as much as I preach about, you know, having brand awareness and trying to engineer the call for tomorrow, I still can't find a way around if you die on Google, you die everywhere for everyone pretty much because the Google business listing is so powerful. It has become the phone book, right? There is no other phone book. It's not like people go to, from this phone book to this phone book. No, if you get your Google business listing wiped off of Google because you are do, doing black hat tactics, the risk is that you disappear from everything. Almost. I mean, you'll have some organics, you'll have like your Facebook page and things like that that show up, but that is a poor substitute for a really well built Google business listing. And then that hurts your SEO in other areas. It can take down your LSA ads. It's, it's a thing. So moral of the story, don't do it. Just don't even try. Don't, don't fiddle with it. Don't, don't go, well, this guy's doing it, so I should do it. No. Nah. Like if it is tied to your business in any way, shape or form, then you run into that. And a lot of people try and circumvent these rules because if they do and it works, it's advantageous. I get it. But the minute you get that slap, it hurts bad. So I don't think it's worth the risk to do a lot of black hat stuff. And we've seen this before where people will do something Google or another platform doesn't want them to do. And then what ends up happening, that platform makes the decision that we're finally going to deal with this. And then they deal with it in the way that they know how, which is verify. And Google and Facebook have been doing this a lot, especially since 2016. So if you're putting up a Google business listing, you have to do verification on it. And it used to be really easy. It used to be like, oh, cool, the little call will give you a code. They'll put a postcard in the mail. Might take forever, but it still happened. Now with um, now what we're getting to is Google's asking you to record videos. They want you to record a video showcasing the fact that this is a true place of business. If you're lucky, you might squeak by with a home address, but I wouldn't poke the bear by creating a bunch of virtual offices that uh, can rank. So um, this stuff gets real dangerous uh, and I don't think it's worth it, just to be perfectly frank. Um, so where else have we seen this? We've seen this stuff in SEO. And this brings me to my second thing about SEO. SEO is awesome when it's working in your favor. It sucks when it's not working in your favor, especially if that's what you're banking on for leads, which you have to remember SEO people, people look at SEO as a substitute for running ads. I think that SEO and ads go hand in hand because they help each other out. If you're running Facebook ads and somebody searches plumber and then you show up, then you have a better chance of them clicking you because they are more familiar with your company. The other side of it is if they search your name and your SEO is god awful, you will not show up. And that's another hole. So SEO to me, 
First, work on just getting found and getting found for the things that you need to be found for. Not top, not top ranking, found. Because a lot of people are missing out on the ability to even be found for specific things. Then you go into, well, now how do we go up in the rankings? And that's a priority game, but there's a lot to it. And a lot of people over the years have tried various things with SEO and Google changes the dynamic. Right now, they are, they are freaking out about all the content that's hitting their service because everybody is saying, oh, well, we're just gonna write an article for this. They write an article using ChatGPT, that thing ranks, and then Google's like, crap, now we have 17 articles instead of two in the same zone, all buying for the same keyword. It's clogging their system to figure out what's good and what's bad. So what they just released, I think yesterday, was a statement basically saying, we don't care who writes this? ChatGPT, a human, your dog. We don't care. What we do care about is whether or not the content is relevant and useful, which is great for you if you really think about it. Spam has never stood the test of time. Users don't like it. Platforms don't like it. It always works for a little bit and then disappears. Usefulness, helpfulness, relevance is always going to be something that platforms prioritize because they need people to become their conduit for advertising that you will also buy. That way they make money. They've got shareholders. None of these companies want to go out of business any more than you do. So um, with that in mind, for uh, SEO, always play the customer centric game first. Because if you do, you're useful to the customer first and foremost, and that's what you need in order for them to trust you. It's, that's important. But then you gotta realize that if you're trustworthy, Google realizes you're trustworthy and Facebook and all these things, and then you have a better reputation with them you know, and their algorithm and robots, but still it's relevant. You have to remember that Google sees a lot and they connect almost everything. They have what, like 500,000 data points on each of us basically sort of deal. I can't remember what the number is, but um, the idea, it, like I've had people say, oh, well, I'll just, I'll just offer this incentive on my reviews. Like, hey, get a free movie ticket or get a thing. Well, what happens when that customer decides to mention that inside of their review? Google's watching for these things, right? Another black hat tactic. But so, Always, always play the, 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 the careful and tricky balance of does this serve the user? And you have to remember that review example is it hurts future users if the only reason why somebody left a review is because you incentivized them, right? Suddenly now somebody who's terrible at plumbing is going to end up owning the review pool and other people are going to go and use them and be like, no, actually, they're kind of terrible. And Google really doesn't want that to happen because it paints their search engine as useless. So another tactic with SEO is Reddit. If you have noticed over the past six months or so, Reddit has been climbing in the search rankings with all of their pages and all their user generated content and things. And you know what? Cool. I like Reddit. It's a great place. But um, however, they recently started deranking them because guys like me, but not me, decided to start making a bunch of um, subreddits or posts and pages or whatever you want to call it around um, around content, trying to get their customer um, or their business up in the Reddit rankings to rank for certain terms. Google started to feel this out, and you know what they did? They cut it off at the knees. Now they're deranking a lot of that stuff. Same thing goes for the content on the websites. If you're just hammering your website with a ton of content that doesn't really matter, Google doesn't care. They, they will actively use their own chat GPT, also called Google Gemini, to derank that. Analyze and derank. It's that simple. So I feel like this is a little rambling, but the idea remains the same. Do not do black hat tactics. Take care of your reputation so you take care of the user, which then means the platforms will take care of you. There's rules of engagement in digital marketing. And if you start poking the bear, the bear will bite back. 
And I really want to make sure that you guys don't have to deal with that fight. And if you are applying the philosophies and the fundamentals of marketing, which is influence, awareness, relationships, credibility, authority, and brand, right? All wrapped into that. Well, then you won't have to worry about using black hat to get ahead because you're not building your internet landscape. You're building your gray matter conduit, right? You're building the, the real estate inside of your prospect's head. And that's what I'm doing right here is I'm talking to you about this. And I'm, I do this all the time. And I run my own ads and they're all brand awareness. So anyway, that is my philosophy on that. Listen, I hope this is helpful. I hope you take it to heart. And I, if you want to talk at all about this with my team, you can go to tylerwilliams.net, schedule a consult there, or you can go to my agency, mammothforplumbers.com and schedule a consult there. We'd be happy to sit down, take a look at your business and go, oh, okay, cool. This is what we think you should prioritize. Even if we aren't the crew to do it, we'll tell you what we think of it. So you have a good one. This has been fun. See you later.